We're again given this data about the 130 FCC students broken down by gender and whether they're right-handed or left-handed. Now though, we're going to calculate conditional probabilities from this table. The first part asks, what's the probability that a randomly chosen student from this group is female given that the student is left-handed? Now, if we're looking at a contingency table and we're dealing with conditional probabilities, we see the word given. The given tells us what category to restrict to. In other words, if we've drawn a student and we're given that this student is left-handed, we know that we're in the category of left-handed students. That given has restricted us to just that column. So we zoom in on that column and that's all we have to worry about. So the probability that the student is female, given that the student is left-handed, tells us that we're working with a pool of 25 students, all the left-handed students, and we're asking what proportion of those are female. Well, there's 13 students that are female and left-handed. There are 25 left-handed students. So the probability that the randomly chosen student is female, given that the student is left-handed, is 13 out of 25. Similarly, for part two, if we want to know the probability that a randomly chosen student is right-handed, given that the student is male, we need to restrict ourselves to the category that we're given. So we're given that the student is male, so we know that we're in this row, the male students. And we're asked, if we're choosing just from this pool, in other words, this pool of 59 people, what proportion of those are right-handed? What's the probability the student is right-handed, given that we're just looking at the male category? Well, there are 47 right-handed students in this category, 59 total students, so the probability is 47 divided by 59.